Hello there YouTube and welcome back. My name is Aquamanson and today we're going to be playing the all new Assassin's Creed Nexus. Now over the holiday I was gifted a Quest 3. So I did what any other Assassin's Creed superfan would do. I went to their garage, grabbed their pre-order bonus Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade, set the difficulty settings to hard, and jumped right in. Let's get to it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. That'll do. Ah, hello there. Thanks for taking our call. I'm Sean, and this is Rebecca. We're your brotherhood contacts for this op. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like that. Bex? Our intelligence indicates Abstergo is developing a new profiling technology that goes way beyond anything seen before. Over the years, they've collected and archived the memories of countless individuals, politicians, generals, even normal people like you and me. I don't think I'd call you normal, Sean. Very funny, but the point is, imagine if your own memories could be analyzed to understand how you think to learn about your values and beliefs, and to know what to show or tell you online or in person, to slowly replace those beliefs with a set of new ones. Templar beliefs. So where do I come in? The executive in charge of this initiative, Dominica Wilk, needs someone with your skills to finish the project, but she doesn't know you're working for us, or that you're gonna shut her operation down for good. But more on that later. For now, We'll piggyback on your connection, so we'll be there when you need us. You'll have to switch over from our network to Abstergo's, and then you're off to your first meeting with your new boss. Huh. What have we here? Our friend is one step ahead of us. That will sever their connection to our virtual space when they connect to Abstergo and Dominica and let us listen in on their conversations safely. Ah, you must be the hacker. As ordered. Good. I'm Dominica Wilk. You'll report to me. Your skills are impressive, and so is your track record. It better be. Hacking governments, multinationals. Whatever you want, I can get it. That's why I hired you. But this job is different. No big deal. This is the Abstergo Cloud. It's an archive of Ooh. memories stretching back through time. We use a technology called the Animus to visit these memories, seeing them through the eyes of those who lived them. What is this, time travel? It's a simulation. No action you take in the Animus can directly affect the present. So why do you need me? The memories in the cloud hold the key to an important project I'm working on. So I want you to visit these memories and bring back the information I need. You're going to keep going, aren't you? It's more of a who than a where. Ezio Auditore okay. di Firenze. I Italian see your noble game. And a master assassin. Sounds like quite a character. He was. Ezio was friends with Leonardo da Vinci and Machiavelli and a sworn enemy of the Borgias. He touched many lives at the end of the 15th century, and his blade ended more than a few. Count me in. Not so fast. 
The Animus is unlike anything you've ever experienced before, so we need to get you acclimated to its use. Think of it as a test before we set you loose on the real deal. Now, let's see what you've got. All right, Animus time. Welcome to the Animus Orientation Protocol. I will guide you through the basics of using the Animus. Your avatar is now active. You should be able to move around freely. Ugh, it looks just like it. Very nice. Love games that have the, uh, the Half-Life Alex grab. Although that one was more of a magnet grab, I would say. You had to, like, you had to flick your wrist. I do appreciate it. Bending over sucks, so any game that has that is a win. Ooh. Come on, snake eyes. What did I get? Rough. Come on, give me something good. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <sighs> One last chance. Double or nothing. Alright. Come on, snake eyes. Oh, shit. Alright, um... Hey, I will take that. Pair threes. Yeah, baby. The assassin's weapon of choice. Very nice. And it feels even better with the real thing on my wrist. It's a little weighted, so it's just perfect. Okay, just to make sure. Yeah, it's just collectibles. Have some on me. You'd be so kind to put that back. <laughs> I don't think I can put it back anymore. Hmm. Hmm. I'm old man Ezio. Oh, it actually makes the cane sound. Very nice. It's the little things, honestly. Hello? Once again, my path leads back to Venice. Alas, I must deny my friends here the pleasure of Alas. I have a sword to retrieve, and a lesson to teach. No one steals from an auditore and leaves to boast about it. No one, I say. I wish we were with the rest of the troop right now, instead of being stuck. Ooh. The map of Monteregioni. Why is this here? This is our home. That's not good. They'll be getting plenty of chances to line their pockets when the day comes. We'll be getting our reward sure enough. Don't be impatient. I'm not impatient. I just want my fair share. I have no doubt we will all get what we deserve. Hmm. This is not good. They're keeping an eye out. You must make your way through the library without being detected. If you're spotted, you'll desynchronize, and will restart really from your last place. checkpoint in this memory. Shall we say acquisitions work? Why are you in such a rush? Hmm. I have bills to pay. Give me credit for one shot. You can distract guards in a number of ways. For example, you can divert their attention by throwing objects to make noise. What's all this about? If you feel uncomfortable when using the Animus, remember that you can adjust your comfort settings at any time. Good you are now going know. to learn how to assassinate a target. Ooh. Flick your wrist outward while holding the trigger button to draw your hidden blade. Once the blade is drawn, Shh. you can use it to assassinate your unsuspecting target. I wonder if I can... Can I grab him and stab him? Oh, well you done. can! You have mastered the art of assassination. Alright, I've mastered now it. Now proceed with your mission. Ooh, 
Ooh, another map. That's not good. That's Please. not good. Hmm. Yes. Two pieces yes. Together. But where do they go? Nothing. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Nope. There is an empty socket above the fireplace. I need to keep looking. Okay. Oh, it's like I don't know how else that goes in there. The secret passage. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, it works. I actually didn't think it was going to work. Quickly. I must leave the city tonight. Yes, mistress. I should never have been away so long. Is my carriage ready? Yes, mistress. Good. Put your back into it. No time to waste. Yes, mistress. How long can to I carry this? To reach the next this? room, you will need to climb this wall. Try it now. I think I can do this one-handed. Hey. This a treasure room of some kind. My sword could well be here. A sword that should be here. Wait, nope. Quite the treasure. On whose head did it once rest, I wonder? I'm really digging this guitar. Christ and the or loot, I should say. Popular subject. You can't strum it too fast. It's like there's an action. You have to bring your hand away from it. Ah, we will get to it. Because there is stuff upstairs. Too bad you can't store things. Oh, shoot. Totally realistic. Ah. A note. The sword is attractive, but ultimately useless for our purposes. It is not the item we need. We must plan more carefully and try again. There is no signature. It's useless. My Yatagan. But we're Such gonna use elegant it. Blade. Elegant but deadly. Let's go loot. Does it matter where I grab it, or can I grab it in different... I don't know if I can grab it in different places. It seems to be locked into... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, the note changes regardless. Nope. Gotta get the tutorial stuff out of the way. Um, there we go. I may have been through the tutorial once or twice. But it's also very clear with the eagle eye. And I'm sure there's nobody behind this door. Oh, hello. You, oh, as long as I don't cross the threshold, you're good, huh? We'll enjoy one last tune.
Can now I? Now initiating the Animus Combat Protocol. I will Loading shall do both. Enemy profile. Block the incoming <laughs> strikes by holding your Darn. weapon to intercept them. Now I got you. Protect me, Yatagan. Can I? Is he not gonna? T oh, okay. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready whenever you are, bud. You just, you just go for it. You do your best. One more. Excellent. Now block a sequence of strikes. Ah! Strike insufficient to cause damage. Oh, <laughs> insufficient to cause damage. Ah! Blocking enemy attacks can create opportunities for you to strike. Block the following attack sequence to continue. Your strikes are not effective. Blocking a series of enemy attacks opens a window to strike. Use these chances to slash an enemy. Execution rated acceptable. Now perform the maneuver in real time. Wait for the right moment to strike. Yeah. A well-placed attack will stun an enemy. This will allow you to strike and cause increased damage. Performance rated acceptable. Now eliminate this enemy. Rated a success. Hmm. Terminating Animus Combat Protocol. Ah, oh, I must say goodbye, loot. I'm sure it's though it's over from here. <sighs> no way. Yes. So you can track them when they're out of sight. Oh, he can hear that. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, shh. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, well, that's one way. All right, come on, loot. band oh baby how does it work I didn't even know there was instruments in here. This is game breaking. I'm gonna be the musical assassin. Is making the noise. <laughs> I'm 
glad your nuts took care of that. Alright. I have no idea how I'm going to make it up. I'll make two trips. That's how we'll do it. Two trips. Because <laughs> I can't store any of this. Alright. Okay. Ugh. Now back down. Can you imagine? <laughs> Being this skilled at parkour. Be like, yeah, I'll just go down and grab my other instrument. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> With one arm. <laughs> This is so great. Sword is mine again. But my heart is not yet at ease. Sword and instruments. This time I went home. Not bad for your first time in the Animus. I'm a quick study. Now how about we take the training wheels off? Certainly, but first, you need to know why you're here. We call it the Antikythera Mechanism. It was found a hundred years ago, in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece. What is it? It's part of an ancient computer, older than recorded history. We think it was used for prognostication, predicting the future. So who built it? We believe it predates human civilization. Though what's important is that within this device is code more advanced than any we've seen before. We reverse engineered it so it can interface with the Animus, but that's just the start. I'm listening. The Antikythera mechanism is one part of a much larger machine, broken apart in the distant past. With the code from those missing fragments, we can bring the old and the new together and create a computer more powerful than we've seen before. I call the project the Nexus Eye, and now you're a part of it. I guess I am. Where are these fragments? Hidden in the past, and that's where you come in. I need you to visit the memories within the Abstergo Cloud, find the missing fragments, and extract the code contained within them. Are you asking me to search the whole cloud? No, we've identified a series of memories as linked to the missing fragments. You'll place tracking beacons within them to triangulate your position within the memory clusters, and direct us towards those most likely to contain what we're looking for. Do I stay with Ezio? For now, but in time you'll visit other memories. We'll have to see where the search leads. I'll be watching your progress. Good luck. Intimidating.
Ooh, she'll be watching. Scary. I thought she'd never leave. You've heard what she had to say. Now remind me what you want from me. Just what we hired you to do. Use your skills to help us stop them. Now before you dive into the past, let's have a quick brief. As Dominica said, you're going to be planting beacons and memories to try to zoom in on these fragments she's after. But, thanks to you, we've got a little surprise for her. Now, this particular bit of code you whipped up is one of the neatest logic bombs I've ever seen. It's going to fit undetectably inside the beacons. Plant a beacon, and you'll be planting a bomb, too. And when all the logic bombs have been placed, we'll trigger them, and they'll devour the memories you've visited. Abstergo will no longer have access to their content. Right. Time to go. Enjoy the, uh, Italian countryside. Have some pasta. And, please be careful. Well, looks like that's it for chapter one. It was mostly tutorials, but that's to be expected. I'm going to take a quick break, however. So, stay tuned, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.